So this is weird, a Dollar Tree haul? How long has it been since I've done one? Almost 15,000 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you guys, Dollar, my Dollar Tree has actually got some good stuff this time. They haven't had much. I've seen so many people haul good stuff and my Dollar Tree never gets it. I have a super tiny Dollar Tree, so I know how you guys feel when you say you can't find stuff because my Dollar Tree is rotten. But the people are nice. <laughs> it's, just, it's just tiny. It's like the size of my living room, I swear. Okay, so I'm going to start off with two... Um, utilitarian things. So I picked up these little craft foam brushes. Um, I don't paint with these very often, but sometimes depend. I like using them for stain. They work really well for stain, but sometimes you just need a quick little touch up, you know? So I grabbed these for that and a dollar for all these is a good price. Then these Brillo Basics, I picked these up. Um, whenever I run out, there's eight in here and then I cut them up into quarters and store them underneath and I only use a quarter at a time and then when I'm done using it, I just toss it because um, they get rusty and I don't like that. So, got those. Then something I was excited about were these um, wood color your own ornament and they are the maple leaves. I got two packages of these because I think they are super cool. Oh, and I just noticed that they come with their own little twine. So that is awesome. I am excited to do something with these. Do you hear noises in the background? Um, it's because my kids are home. I can't help it, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and my dog is sleeping right behind the camera on the couch. Um, and if you hear snoring, it's probably him. <laughs> and I also picked up the little pumpkins. I can't wait to do something with those either. And there seems to be one, two, three, four, five in each package. Is that the same? One, two, three, four. Yeah, five in each package. That's not bad. Oh yeah, <laughs> it says it right there. Okay, I picked up one of these little wooden pumpkins. You guys, I could make this so easy. I don't know why I bought this thing. But I grabbed this one probably just to save myself a step um, because it didn't have any glitter on it. So, and I think I can get this out as well. So I'm excited about this little guy. I can do something with him. And I mean, honestly, if I just take this raffia and this wood stick off, it's not bad. This one's a little beat up though, so it could be cute. And then my Dollar Tree finally got these things. The, what are they? The metal words that says thankful, harvest, and welcome. So I was excited about this. I don't love galvanized. I don't mind it in the fall, but any other time I don't really like it because I like it with the pumpkins and the and the hay and the, you know, just the farmy, the actual type farmy stuff, not the all man-made or, you know, manufactured stuff. But um, that's usually the only time I'll use galvanized stuff in my decor. Uh, but some of these could get spray painted, right? Yep, so that's my plan. By the way, this is a kind of a small haul. I didn't spend too much money. I don't even know how much I spent, maybe $11 or something. But while I was there, I fell in love with some flowers. And I think these were technically in the summer section. But I picked up these pink dahlias. Look at the color on those, you guys. Aren't they pretty? I made a spring wreath out of dahlias. And I was kind of looking for this color. Um, by the way, that was a yeah. Odin, no. <laughs> He's wagging his tail. Sorry, he can, he has a loud bark. He just woke up. Um, but it was, they were a brighter pink and I was looking for these and that was a Dollar Tree wreath, a Pottery Bar knockoff. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in seeing it. But um, I love the colors of these ones. Look at how pretty they are. Oh, I love them. So to go with them, I picked out these. I could only find one of these and these are called cat, the cat, they're calling them cattails, although they look nothing like cattails. And they are like an, it's really hard. They're like an orangey pink color, but I thought they would look really pretty like that. And then to go with that, I got the burgundy. I thought these were so pretty as well. And you start to see a color theme going on here. Let's see if we can, there. 
very pretty. And then I got these as well. So they have a little bit of red in the leaf. I probably won't use these things because they look kind of cheap and cheesy. Or even this thing. But I like, I got it for the leaves basically. So you're getting like this. And my, my entryway has a lot of red and white and black going on. So that's what I'm going with for with these. So, and I, let's see, I got three of the pink two of the red flowers and one cattail. I wish I had another cattail, but I don't. So that is what I've got going on here. I think that is pretty. I need a little pop of something. I was thinking maybe some wheatgrass or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll go pick some. It's nowhere near time. Oh, I'm not going to be able to. We have corn this year <laughs> in the field, but I think they are so pretty. So that is what I got this year from for fall decor from the Dollar Tree. Not a lot, but I think I can do a lot with this little guy, with this, what I have there. I said it, <laughs> I spit it out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I hope to see you later. Mwah.